But today's topic here on uh, Saturday Live is this bird behind us, the American white pelican. This bird <laughs> generates a ton of questions in this area. And I'll never forget my first spring back in uh, uh, of 1992. I was had come moved here from North Carolina, so in North Carolina I had grown up, you know, really close to the uh, the Atlantic Ocean, and I was so used to seeing this guy, the brown pelican, which is what we see all you know up and down the uh, eastern seaboard, and uh, are so used to. Uh, that being the pelican, you know, and watching them dive into the water and plunge and, and, and get a fish and sit there and float while the fish is, you know, swimming, you know, flopping around in its bill and things. Well, that first spring, we were on a bird hike out at Baroque Woods, uh, and we were out in the middle of the prairie, and I looked up over my head, and I'll never forget the sight. Uh, this is what we saw. It was like, oh my gosh, And because they're big birds. The American white pelicans are big birds, and they fly, and they, they, they do swirling vortexes, if you will, whenever they're climbing up, and then they straighten out and fly miles upon miles without ever flapping. Um, they're magnificent flyers. But I saw these birds, and I put my binoculars up, and I you knew they were pelicans, but I, I had never seen a white pelican before, having been from, like I said, the East Coast, so... Um, what is the story? Let's see, what we were seeing, this is a good example of a close-up of what we were seeing, but we, we, when they're up in the air and swirling, you don't get that good a look. You just know they're big, white birds with black wingtips, which amazingly, sometimes when, they, when they're when they flying and tilting, they vanish. It's, it's funny, that white bird against that, that light behind them, uh, they, and then all of a sudden, you see them, they turn, and, and you see them again. And they're, they're, they're very, very, very cool birds. So what is the story on the American white pelican? Well, the American white pelican spends its winters down on, in, in, basically in the Gulf Coast states. So, uh, you know, even western uh, side of Florida, but really those, in the sloughs of those Gulf Coast states, Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, uh, and northern Texas, and then over in the Salton Sea. So we do have some of the, that far west. And they migrate through here in the spring and on their way to their nesting grounds, uh, which are in the prairie pothole regions up in the uh, northwestern United States and the, and the camp parts of Canada. Uh, they, they like those uh, kind of secluded pothole areas, that, uh, the waterways that they nest in up there. And then they return back south now in the fall and people see them and it believe me it truly generates questions now somewhere like squaw creek or i'm sorry los bluffs national wildlife refuge you see scenes like this and at smithville lake in the fall and spring you see scenes like this huge clusters of them um, on the lakes whenever they're coming through. And they have, just like all birds, they have to refuel. They have to um, you know, catch fish, eat, gain more weight, and then take off. But they are, like I said in the beginning, they're truly amazing flyers because they do not flap their wings much at all. They Now they have to to get get off the water and get in the air. But what they tend to do is they when they're flying, they tend to capture... Let's see, we got another one here. Yeah, this is, they tend to capture the updrafts, the warm air rising, and they glide on that, and they lift, and they fly higher in circles, higher and higher, not flapping typically once they can catch that warm air, and then they fly, and, they, and then when they get to the apex, get to the, t the top, then they straighten out, and they fly the direction they want to go, and they are slowly descending as they go, either north or south, depending on the time of the year, and they fly, and they, and they, they glide, and glide, and glide, and glide, and glide, and they lose altitude until they get low enough that either they're going to stop somewhere, or they're going to catch another updraft and do it again and start in that journey all over again, and that's how they migrate with, without very much flapping at all. Flapping burns energy. So if you, you can conserve energy, the better whenever you're in migration. And that's how they do it. Like I said, they're, they're truly cool birds. Now, one thing that we see in the spring that we don't see in the fall is what's known as the keel on the bill of the males. And that is tr all that is is for mate attraction. You know, they, and, and the males have it in the spring, and it's the hump on top of their bill. And, you know, the bigger it is, evidently, the sexier you are in, to a female American white pelican. So um, very, very cool. Uh, just a unique feature about them. 
Um, and there's it, and now the difference that I recognize immediately whenever watching their behavior, those brown pelicans that I grew up with, they usually fly in a formation. You know, they'll have eight or ten of them flying along over the ocean, and all of a sudden the first one dives and bang, 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 bang. They all drop into the water, and right one right after another on a school of fish. Well, the white pelicans don't hunt that way at all. Here's one coming in for a landing. But what the white pelicans do is this. They will form little clusters out in the open water and they will herd a school of fish in the center there. They'll kind of gather them up and then they'll just scoop them up. They'll scoop the, and, and you'll see them out there decking their heads under the water. But usually it's in a cluster like this. And that's their hunting technique versus the brown pelican that dives in and catches the fish. So. American white pelicans are really, really cool birds. Um, there, you can see them right now. They are. We saw several uh, Thursday out at Muskrat Lake and and at uh, Lewis and Clark State Park. The bodies of water. Smithville is a fantastic place to see them. So, what's going on now? They're thinning out and they're starting. They're starting to pull out now. But we always see a few every winter and over winter at places like Los Bluffs and 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 we think those are probably either sick birds, injured birds that just can't make the journey any further. Um, and so they, they may not make it through the winter, but they've gone as far as they can in their migration. And then they tend to just stay where they can and, and eat and survive long enough. And we'll, we, and so when we go up to Squaw Creek or Los Bluffs, remember we go to Sunday after Thanksgiving every year. So go on, the, on BackyardBirdCenter.com to the calendar page. You can click on a sign up to go up there. It's a wonderful trip. We we'll see lots of birds. Carrie's out there nodding her head. She's been many times. And it's, a, it's well worth it. If you love birds, uh, there's very few places that are its equal in the state of Missouri. And that's Los Bluffs National Wildlife Refuge. So. All right, American white pelicans. Again, a very cool bird. You want me to focus and, and do a program on other birds? Send in ideas and send, let me know about that. Uh, other topics, the weather is changing. It's getting colder. The birds are coming back into the feeders, I promise. So thanks for the idea for the program. Come on. What's that? Oh, YouTube. She said, <laughs> if, you, if you haven't subscribed, yeah, if you're if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you very much. Please hit the subscribe button. If you've not joined the YouTube channel, please go ahead on on there. You know, it's so much easier to search for all of my videos by topic uh, on YouTube than it is, you know, once they get buried on Facebook, it's hard to find them again. But our website, uh, BackyardBirdCenter.com, and on YouTube are the ways to find all of my videos. So thanks again for tuning in. Uh, Send in more ideas, give us a like, give us a share. Until then, come by and tell birds.